Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email address. For inquiring about the price of this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch that launched in 2020 and marked the regular production return of the long-dormant Gerald Genta brand, which had been in hibernation within Bulgari ownership since approximately 2011 when it was phased out. So you're looking at the Gerald Genta Arena by Retrograde Sport, and it's a revival of, of a popular model line from the 2000s, a watch 43 millimeters in diameter in titanium. It's surprisingly slim at 12.4 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, it is 51.4 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. I have to admit, I fancy this watch. It's something I would love to own. It's a beautiful fit. It's super light. It's flatter than you think and more compatible with a cuff. I would recommend you have a wrist of my size or larger to wear it. So think 16 centimeters circumference wrist or larger, and this watch will look good. It is very light, all in sapphire and titanium. The strap has a lovely velvety nubuck texture, and you can see it's made of matte finished, large rectangular scale alligator leather. It's got a monotone stitch, a folded edge. It is a sort of anthracite, somewhere between black and gray. And on the bottom, also anthracite calfskin. You can see it is a Gerald Genta factory strap in brand new condition. We have a matching double G satin finished, really media blasted, titanium pin buckle. The case, as you can see, is all in satin subdued to minimize glare. It is quite attractive with directional brushed grain, excepting the bolts that fix the crown guard in place and the crown itself, those are media blasted. The lugs break out dramatically from the coined case flank. You can see there's a little push adjuster on the flank if you want to jump the hour by one hour at a time without displacing the minute hand. The hour jumper is a pusher. Otherwise, you can activate the retrograde and the hours using the crown. The crown is a screw down with double knurling. It is a 100 meter water resistant watch, so it lives up to its sport moniker. You can see that there is a concentric circular brushed pattern around the bezel. The bezel is domed and flat. You can see it has a nice flat domed profile. It flares out a little bit from the case band. The dial has several different textures, tones, and colors. There's a lovely granular frosting to the dial base. Then we have satin finished anthracite, for example, the tracks inboard of the date and inboard of the minutes, a little polished aperture framing the jumping hour. We have a bright school bus yellow in lacquer used for the hands as well as the scales for the date and the minutes. And then you can see we have a matte finish and darker anthracite that actually underpins the date track and the minutes track. Well, let's activate this jump hour retrograde watch and take a look at what you get. First of all, a little bit of a surprise. Though the watch does not actually feature a seconds hand, it does have a hacking function. So you can stop the movement if you want. Now pull the crown all the way out. We're hacking again. We're going to jump the hours and retrograde the minutes and it's just an absolute party. Now the watch also has another subsidiary setting mode. We have a little quick set for that date and it too is a retrograde, hence arena by retro. Screwing the crown back in, let's take a look at the reverse side. The movement module is Gerald Genta's own and it's one that dates back quite a few decades at this point. But unlike the originals, which would have been Gerald Genta branded and powered by either Gerard Perigo or ETA, here we now have a Bulgari in-house movement. They call this the BVL 300. And so the parent of Gerald Genta is Bulgari, but Bulgari's movement manufacturer is the old Gerald Genta works. So this really becomes something like an in-house caliber. Now it's an automatic winder with a 42 hour power reserve. It has a dual anchored balance bridge for better shock tolerance. It beats away at four hertz, so eight beats per second, 28,800 vibrations per hour, it pivots on 33 joules, once again, water resistant down to 100 meters, and nicely decorated, but it is the movement on the opposite side that you can't see the modules that are beautifully decorated and finished. The movement is a workman-like tractor. You can see it's BVL branded on the barrel bridge, but it's Gerald Genta branded on the rotor. Of course, it is Swiss made. We have a couple of different finishes on this reverse side. We have media blasted bolts. We have a radial lapping machine applied satin grain. And then we have a concentric circular brushed pattern adjacent to the crystal. And of course, Gerald Genta branded. You can see that there's a lovely matte finish to the barrel and then the screw heads are all polished. We have Cote de Genève, albeit likely mechanically 
applied or stamped across the bridges, and then we have a matte finished base plate. So it's a good looking movement, but again, all of the hardcore artistry is on the movement side under the dial. An absolute knockout, a personal favorite of mine back in action, and possibly soon to be on my wrist or yours. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.